now I did bring a uh, pot plant into the shop just to add to the atmos and this little kitty really wants to eat this plant so there may be a few interruptions of me uh, stopping this critter here she goes you see you can't have that on you can't have it it's a bad plant for cats that's why it's usually hung up nice and high and away from you so anyway, hello. Today we are going to be doing the like January and March Hall of Faves. Uh, I'm filming this quite early in March, but because we are going to Japan in two weeks time, I thought it was pretty safe to say that this is probably all I'm going to be able to purchase in this time because from now on all of my savings are, are Japan related. So. Sorry, Miso's being very cheeky. Uh, yes, so here is a little collection of bits and bobs uh, that I have picked up along the way. What should we start with, Moose? Are you staying or are you going? Oh, she's going, she's gone. Um, first thing are these. Oh, actually, oh Jesus, oh, okay. All right, we've lost everything. So before we get into the things, the first thing I should really mention is my hair is, I guess, the most obvious change since our last Hall of Faves video. And uh, yeah, it's pink. She a pink baby now, um, not a whole lot to say on that. This is about a month in to having pink hair, so it's like three or four washes. Yes, I only wash my hair once a week. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's quite. I guess it's quite faded, but we did in the beginning intentionally dye it pastel pink anyway. Um, so in, in that sense, it's, it's fading gracefully, I think. And I'm really enjoying it. Uh, the color itself is Rose or Rosé by Joyco, which is a lovely product. It definitely put some life back into my hair because by the end of that, when I was like white blonde, um, yeah, she wasn't healthy. I was a little bit worried at what I had done, to be honest, uh, but she came good. She came good. This color has really injected, yeah, some moisture and just looks and feels a lot healthier now. One word of caution though, if you do go down the Joyco road, is that they put glitter in their hair dye. Uh, I don't know what compelled them to do this because no one likes having glitter on their person when they weren't expecting it. So once we dyed my hair, I mean, obviously my scalp was being worked a lot that day. My scalp was just glitter. My hair was full of glitter. Glitter was like shimmying down my face and on my clothes. You know, just not ideal. Not an ideal practice, Joyco. So aside from that, excellent product and I am clearly happy with the end result. Now back to the things. I actually just got this delivered as I was setting up and it is a new prism for my camera. Um, yeah, it's just a big old, big bit of glass big prism to play with for photography, uh, which is always fun. A tip I will give you if you're looking at um, getting one of these is make sure you get a prism that's actually larger than your lens because the prism I was using before was probably half this height. So I would, could put it against my lens, but I couldn't really put it across if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, so this will be fun to play with. So you see how it like, I have no idea what this is reflecting. This could be terrible or it could be cool. Who knows? But this is, how I make some pretty picture things. Okay, so we have got these little puppers. This is another tarot card deck from UC, uh, which is where I got my Pagan Otherworlds deck that I believe I talked about in a, quite a few Hall of Faves ago. Now that's the deck I actually use and practice with. This deck is more for collection's sake. I think I've talked about this before, but my husband and I, when we go on holidays and things, we do like to collect playing cards. Um, and even though I wasn't expecting this to be a set of playing cards, which it kind of ended up being, um, I really liked the artwork, so I wanted to purchase it for that. Um, and when I did receive it, I was a little bit disappointed uh, because it's only really the major arcana and then the rest of it is literally a set of playing cards, which is not really what I expected. I was hoping it would be a full set of tarot, but it's still very nice. I do love the pictures um, and you know, it can stay. It's fine, I'm not, I'm not that upset. What else have we got over there? Miso, Baba, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. Excuse me, what are you doing behind the pillows? Seriously. She just gets so excited when one of us has a day off work. She gets a bit cheeky sometimes, but she's a good girl. Anyway, next thing, um, yeah, these. 
So after I did the pink thing, I went on a bit of a pink rampage and I got a few pink items. Uh, the first and most notable were these shoes. These are like a pair of slip-on vans. Oops, see ya. And they have embroidered tigers and cherry blossoms on them, which is so extra and very much not usually my style. I did want a pair of slip-on vans and these were just ridiculous. I have serious doubts of like the longevity of a satin shoe, but we'll see. I mean, they do look very cute and they're extremely comfortable. So I'll definitely be taking these ones to Japan with me in a couple of weeks time. And yeah, we'll just see how long, we'll just see how long she lasts. I've only worn them a few times so far, but like every mark is so noticeable. The next thing is this awkward contraption, which has been a really handy little purchase. Now these are step down rings. Uh, and what they do is when you have filters, for example, like all the Marumi filters I've purchased in the last haul of faves, I think, um, that are too small to fit my lenses, these adjust the lens so that they can actually hold the filter. So you need to zoom in a lot, especially in my case, because my lenses are like 72 and 77 mils and my filters are 52 mils, which is why there's so many stuck together. Um, and it makes them fit on so that you can actually shoot with them. So yes, I do have to be like fully zoomed in, unfortunately, but it means I can use my filters, especially my like foggy, dreamy, soft, diffused light filter, which is just my favorite thing in the world right now. I would shoot everything on it if I could, if I was allowed to. And it's been, yeah, it's been really fun to actually, cause I could, you know, play with my filters before I got this, but it was awkward because I always had one hand on the lens and one hand trying to take pictures and just a bit too much going on. If you want to have a look at some examples of pictures I've taken with the help of this step down ring, you can head over to my website, catgutsuniverse.com. Uh, the most recent blog post is from a shoot with my friend Abby and we went out to the gardens the other day with like some tinsel and some, some white and my diffuse lens and created some really nice like soft dreamy portraits, which is like, I'm all about that at the moment. So yes, they turned out nice. I'm very happy with those. So yeah, if you want to have a look, you can go, you can go over there. And the last thing I have is, again, from my little uh, moment of pink insanity where I just needed to suddenly have everything pink in my life. And it is some pajamas. And I've never really invested in sleepwear before, but now that I have a nice set, like I live in these when I'm around the house. They're a pair of pink, just very like standard style pajamas from Peter Alexander, which I know is like pretty bougie, but I do have a good friend that works there, so I may have got a little discount, so thanks, darling. Um, but yeah, so they're just a t-shirt and longish pants. To be honest, in Brisbane, it's literally still too hot to wear these silk pajama pants. Um, and these are super crinkly, so I'll just show you some pictures of me wearing them from when I first got them and I got excited and took some shots. I just never got into sleepwear. Like I was always happy to just wear like a big shirt, like one of my husband's shirt and just like some shorts or whatever. But I found now that I do actually have dedicated sleepwear, it really does aid in my routine. Like I come home and I have a shower and I'm all nice and clean and I put on, put on my sleepwears and I lounge around and eat cookies and that's not keto. I should do a video on keto soon, actually. It, have been, it has been mentioned quite a few times. So that is in the works. It's just a delicate topic. So just trying to figure out how to, how to approach that. But yeah, in short, I, I think I'm a pajama person now. I really enjoy those. And that is everything. <laughs> that is everything I'm surrounded by currently. So I guess that means that is the end of today's Hall of Faves. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do an old school cat guts goodbye and really just cover my whole face with my hand. So I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Haven't done that in ages, it's just... Bye! Hi!